All you'll need for this practice is your mat, a chair, and then a spot to practice on the wall. And we'll go ahead and start in a seat, bend your left knee and straighten out your right leg, reach your right arm up to get across the body for a twist. As you begin to lengthen the breath, each inhale creates more length in the spine, each exhale allows you to twist a little further just by neutral with your neck. Lower your left forearm to the ground. Take a moment here. See if you can lift your hips off the ground as you reach your right arm up. Hover your left leg and reach your right arm forward. Connect elbow and knee here for 10. Pull it in. Nine, eight, seven. Push into the bottom foot. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down. Let's switch it out. Right knee bends, left leg goes straight. Reach your left arm up, take it across the body for a twist. Let's go ahead and set an intention this time and just find a word or a feeling that resonates with you in the moment today. Maybe you want to push in yourself one more than maybe you think you're capable of. When you're ready, right forearm plants. Lift your hips up, extend the left, leg, left arm forward and the right leg back. Pull the elbow and the knee together for a 10. Pull it in nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down. Cross your right foot over your left leg this time. So my right toes are pointing straight out to the side. Lower your left forearm to the ground. Lift your hips off the ground. This time we'll do the bottom leg. So the right arm reaches forward. Try to connect elbow and the knee and extend. Pull it in. The left leg's never gonna touch the floor for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down, switch it out. Cross your left leg over your right leg. Point your left toes out to the side. Ground into the right form as you lift your hips. Reach the left arm forward. Connect the knees and the elbow and extend for 10. Pull it in nine. The right leg's never going to touch the floor. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to a seat. We'll do one more like that on each side. Left knee bends, right leg goes straight. Reach the right arm up, take it across the body for a twist. Sit up tall, lift up out of the low back. Left forearm plants. Push into the floor, lift your hips off the ground. Extend your left leg towards your right foot. Connect the elbow and the knee for 10. Pull it in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down, switch it out, right knee bends. Left leg goes straight, reach the left arm up. Take it across the body for a twist. Just enjoy the pause here. Right forearm plants, push into the ground. Lift your hips up. Extend the right leg towards the left foot. Connect the elbow and the knee. Ten. Pull it in. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Sit down. Switch it out. Left knee's bent. Excuse me. Left leg straight. Right leg's going to cross over. Turn your right toes out to the side as you lower your left forearm. Lift your hips. This time the bottom leg. So the right elbow and both knees connect and then extend 10. Pull it in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down, switch it out. Bend the left knee, cross the left foot over the right leg. Turn your toes over towards the right. Plant your right forearm, lift your hips. Connect the elbow and both knees for 10. That right leg's never gonna touch the floor here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, come down. Let's go ahead and put our feet on the chair. And if you don't have a chair, you can put it on your couch or you can put your feet on the wall, but make your way onto your forearms. Both forearms plant, feet touch the outer or the bottom edge of the chair. Push in your forearms, round through the upper back. Step one foot on and then the second foot on. Hold it here. Take a moment, try to pull your forearms towards the chair. 
Try to pull your toes towards your forearms. Right side, forearm side arm out, stacked up. Just your legs as you need to, so that it's comfortable depending on the shape of your chair. Hover your left leg, reach the left arm forward, connect the elbow, the knee ten. Pull it in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left side, forearm side arm out. Stack it up, make it comfortable on that left foot. Push into the outer edge. Hover your right leg, reach the right arm forward, elbow and knee, connect 10. Pull it in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both forearms plant. Walk your forearms back towards the chair. Stick your hips up high. Press your chest back towards the chair. Dolphin push ups here. Shift the weight forward and back like you're going to kiss the floor between your thumbs. We have 10. Nine, trying to find the full range of motion. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold this last one at the top. Press your chest back. Try to make even more space to your head. And when you're ready, let's come down. Take a moment here, a little yogi squat. Toes out, heels in, press the elbows into the thighs, try to pull your heart through the gateway of the arms. Moving into tricep dips. You can keep your hands on the floor, you can put them on blocks, or you can make your way onto your chair. Elbows go straight back here. We're here for the first set of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, right leg towards the middle, elbow straight back, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch it out, left leg towards the middle, elbow straight back, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, both feet down, last set of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give yourself a break, take a seat if you want, and go ahead and grab your socks and put your socks on. So we will use the socks for a wall sit to start out, and then we'll do hamstrings and glutes going up the wall so when you're ready socks are on we'll make our way to the wall and just find a wall sit here taking your butt back to the wall sitting back and just holding it here we're going to hold this for about a minute so just take a couple moments try to press your low back into the into the wall find your breath slow everything down If you need to come out and take a couple breaks, come out, take a couple breaks. Maybe you can try to get a little bit deeper. Come back to that intention. See if you can match the length of the inhale with that of the exhale. We're halfway there. 30 seconds to go. Dig a little deeper, you can do it. Fifteen seconds, it's nothing. You've got this. Try to use the breath to get you through. Last three, two, and one, come out. Make your way onto your mat and line your butt up with the wall. Take your legs up the wall and your hands down by your hips actively pushing into your hands. We'll try to take the feet all the way to the wall to touch. Come all the way back down, all right? When you're ready, here we go. All the way up, all the way down. And I'm not gonna start counting yet because you don't need to listen to me count, but just check in with your body. See if you can get those toes all the way to the wall. Find an extreme point at the top here, 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees, give yourself a second, just a little modified happy baby with your feet on the wall or possibly pulling the legs in closer. You might even just grab a hold of the backs of the thighs. Or of course, if you want to reach through and grab a hold of the outer edges of your feet, do that. Let's make our way back up to that wall sit. Come back to the wall. Sit back. Slide your butt down. Take the right leg towards the middle of the room. You can always cross it over. We're going to be here for a minute. So don't feel like you have to hold the leg all the way out with the clock has started. Bend deep into that left knee. Navel to spine, pushing the low back into the wall, try to press the back of your head into the wall. Slow it down. Minute is going to be a long time. <laughs> We're more than 15 seconds in. Just commit to it. Can you lift the leg up higher? Can you use the breath to guide you through this moment of pain? <laughs> Hopefully. All right, we're more than 30 seconds in, more than halfway. Slow it down a little bit. Can you lift the leg higher? Check in. If you need to cross the leg over, do that. Shaking is realistic. <laughs> 10 seconds to go, guys. See if you can lift it even higher. And we're done. Come down. To your back, extend the legs straight up towards the wall. Butt is touching the wall or as close as you can get it. Hands by your hips. Let's slide the legs all the way up. Squeeze your butt at the top. All the way down again. I'll wait to start counting, which I know makes it worse. But <laughs> at this point, at least we're not in that wall sit anymore. We have ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, bend your knees, give yourself a little break. Again, could be a little modified happy baby or all the way to happy baby, grabbing a hold of the outer edges of the feet. Making your way up. Coming back to your wall sit. This time we'll take the left leg towards the middle of the room. Sit back towards the wall. Extend your left leg straight out towards the middle. We have a minute hold here. So just commit to it. Again, you can always cross the top foot over or see if you can extend it out for as long as you can and then eventually cross it over. You can oscillate between those two shapes. Checking my clock so I can keep you updated. We're 20 seconds in. Struggle is real. Can you lift the left leg higher? Find the breath. Twenty seconds to go. Can you lift it even higher? Check in with your body. See what you can turn on a little bit more, which might not be anything. That's okay. 10 seconds, guys. You can do it. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Come out of that. Ooh. Let's make our way back down onto our backs, taking the legs up the wall, but super close to the wall. This time, try to compress right thigh to your chest. Slide the left toes all the way up, all the way back down. We're here for 10. Nine, can you get a little higher? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold this last one at the top. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, give yourself a moment, and we'll switch it out. Compress, left thigh to the chest, slide the right toes all the way up. All the way back down for 10. Toes all the way to the wall. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold this 
last with the top. 10, toes all the way to the wall. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down, bend your knees, grab a hold, take a moment. When you're ready, make your way up to hands and knees on your mat. Fire hydrant from here on hands and knees. Lift and lower that right knee straight out to the side. Try to keep your hips level for 10. Find the breath, eight. At least we're not in that wall sit anymore. Five, four, three, two. Hold it out to the side, stay there, or straighten up the legs, stillness, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just lift it higher, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it up, take your right leg over to the left side of your mat, and then back out to the side for a 10. Nine, try to put a little weight in your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here to 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Take your right leg behind your left leg and just sit back in this variation of child's pose, trying to stack the knees on top of each other, working the hips a little bit closer to the floor. On an inhale, let's come up, come back to the wall. Butt super close to the wall, both legs up the wall. Compress. Right thigh to the chest. When you get there, slide the left toes all the way up, all the way back down. We have 10. Squeeze your butt at the top. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold this last one at the top. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, come down, switch it up. Compress, left thigh to the chest. Slide the right toes all the way up, all the way back down to 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold this last one at the top, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come down, pull your knees in, give yourself a little squeeze. Let's make our way back to the wall, sit, <laughs> bet you thought over, over. Let's sit back, just both feet on the ground, alternating heels if you want, we're gonna hold this for a minute. You can find stillness, you can hold on the balls of the feet, or we'll lift and lower, but the clock has already started. Navel to spine, press the low back into the mat or the wall, I should say. Try to pull your lower ribs in. Press the back of the head into the ceiling if you can, or I should say into the wall. <laughs> That's our new ceiling. Again, maybe you want to take a couple breaths with just both heels lifted and skip the alternating, but we're halfway there. We've got 30 seconds to go. So just make it work in your body. You can do it. Dig a little deeper. We're more than halfway, got it. Fit 10 seconds. <laughs> We're basically there, guys. Maybe just balls of the feet for the last five. Four, three, two, one. Good job, come on. Come on to your mat. Find hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, push into the floor, round through the upper back. Make that shallow C shape under your torso. Let's lift and lower the left leg out to the side. Little fire hydrant here for 10. Try to resist the lower. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out to the side. Stay there or straighten out the leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Take your left leg behind your right leg and then straight out to the side for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold this last one out to the side, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take your left leg behind your right leg and sit back. In this variation on Chad's pose, the hips don't have to go back very far, but just try to line up the knees as you fold in, relax. Just enjoy the pause. On an inhale, let's come up. We'll do these pistol slats. So, right foot can be on the mat or it could just be on the floor. Take your left leg forward, slide your hips back, and then slide all the way forward. So I'm trying to use the floor here, and you can go as low as you want, pull back for 10. Nine, try not to pull your sock off. Eight, you don't have to go super low. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Just sit down, let's twist. Left arm reaches up, let's get back onto your mat. Take it across the body for a twist. Try to sit up tall, lift up out of the low back. Right forearm plants, push into the floor. Hover your right leg, connect the left elbow with the knee 10. Pull it in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down, great job. Cross your right leg over your left leg. Lower your left forearm to the mat. Push into the ground, lift your hips up. We'll do the bottom leg this time. Left elbow, or right elbow, and both knees connect for 10. Pull it in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend your right leg back. Reach your left arm, or right arm forward. Connect the toes and the hand for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down to a seat. Let's try to stand up without using our hands. We'll go back to those pistol slides. Again, you don't have to get super low. I'll keep my left foot on the mat, slide my right leg all the way out. Just going as low as I can, which doesn't need to be this low. Sliding the heel back for 10. Yet it might just be a little bend. Nine. Eight. Try to find your max. Seven. Six. Five. Four. <laughs> three. <laughs> I give up. Two. One, come all the way to a seat and let's twist. Right arm reaches up, take it across the body. Sit up tall, lift up out of the lower back. Lower your left forearm to the ground. Push on the ground, lift your hips up. Let's connect the right elbow and the left knee for 10. Pull it in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come back to the seat. Cross your left leg over your right leg. Lower your right forearm to the mat. Push into your left foot. Lift your hips. We'll connect the right knee and the left elbow for 10. Pull it in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend your right leg back. Push in the outer edge of the foot, connect 
left toes in the left hand for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down. Boat pose, butt down, legs up. Compress, dice the chest. Try to lift up out of the low back. Work on this compression here. See if you can lift up a little bit higher. Slow down the breath, maybe straighten out the legs. Let's try to come up to standing from here. Hold the heels in, make your way up to standing. You can go ahead and take your socks off and feet on the, on the chair or on your wall, hands under your shoulders. Tuck your tailbone, tailbone towards your heels, squeeze your butt. Left knee to the left tricep, slide it down to the wrist, lift it up 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right side, side arm balance. Stack it up, hold it here, make it comfortable on your right foot. Left knee to the left tricep, 10. Pull it in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both hands down, back to that plank pose. Right knee to the right tricep, lower and lift, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left side, side arm balance, make it comfortable on your left foot. Option to hover the right leg, reach the right arm forward, connect the elbow and the knee, 10. Pull it in, nine, we're almost there, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plant the hands, walk your hands back towards the chair, drop your head, just let the neck relax and hang heavy. Slow down the breath here. Grip into your fingers, push into your index knuckles. Let's take the right leg up and back, hold it there, look between the hands and see if you can just lean into that handstand. Switch it out when you're ready. Right foot plants, left leg reaches up. Just try to lean the weight into the hands, see if you can get that right foot to lift off the chair. Doesn't have to. You know, I just hold with the left leg lifted. Couple more breaths here. Try to push so hard into the ground that your shoulders come way up by your ears. Relax. Last full cycles of breath here. Try to make it a little longer, a little smoother. And when you're ready, slowly come down, give your wrists a little bit of love, a little chicken action. Press the backs of the hands into the body for a breath. Eagle arms, right arm on top, left under, arm underneath. Lift and lower the elbows. Stay there, tip forward if that feels good for you. Switching it out when you're ready, left arms on top, right arms underneath. Lift and lower the elbows as you round through the upper back. Tip forward for a few breaths. Back to the center, Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, a little butterfly action, possibly finding stillness. If you want to walk your hands forward, walk them forward. If you want to use your hands on your inner thighs to spiral them back. Just a couple moments here to start to finish out your practice. That is part of the beauty of a home practice. You have all of the time in the world to finish out your practice in your own way. Throw in your favorite stretches. Do a couple of fancy on hops towards the wall. Just make the practice your own. I hope you enjoyed the practice. We'll start to let it go. You can come down to your back. Just find a comfortable seat. And just begin to consciously let everything go. Notice how your body feels now versus when we started the practice. Come back to the intention we started with. Just let that idea resonate through you and carry it with you for the rest of the day.